it was decided that Project Mac should uh, plan, plan a new machine uh, meant explicitly for time sharing. Uh, and uh, IBM sort of thought they had us in our pocket, their, their pocket. Um, but in fact, we, we, we went on a series of trips visiting different vendors to see if they were interested in building a machine more explicitly for time sharing. Uh, GE, GE had a, uh, had a uh, computer division out in uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. They had a an engineer who basically was much too amenable to to change, and he basically promised to do anything we wanted. And uh, who who was that? John Kluwer. John Kluwer, JFC. And uh, he. He, what we didn't appreciate at that time was that uh, GE was a, a very large company, but it basically uh, was run with each each division running its own shop and basically uh, uh, answering t not not answering it, it didn't have a it wasn't as as integrated as as a company like IBM, mm -hmm. which had a, a single management. Uh, GE had multiple managements. And uh, so Kalur basically promised to do anything we wanted. And uh, it sounded pretty good uh, to our naive selves. And uh, so we elected to, uh, to, uh, to work with and John Kalur to design what came to be the uh, the 645. Right, GE already had a 635 that yeah. was running G codes batch processing all the time. Right. So he was going to modify that. He was going to modify it all to hell. Yeah. And uh, one of the consequences of that was that IBM, who had sort of viewed us as being likely to pick an IBM machine, was secretly building, had basically not unveiled the fact that they had a different notion entirely of how to build computers, namely uh, building uh, a family of computers uh, all of which had the same architecture, which, which ran faster or slower, depending on how much you paid for it. Uh, and uh, so the result was that when they heard we had agreed to work with GE, IBM totally panicked and uh, proceeded to, uh, well, I think that they, they did some t t terribly drastic things. They embarked on a time-sharing system of their own, uh, called, which was called the six, 60, Model 67, as I recall. And it, they did a crash program of trying to assign a 1,000 programmers to work on it at once. And th they, they came up terribly lame. People had bought these computers basically on faith that IBM would provide them with an operating system, when in fact they had no such thing. IBM had already sold, sold the hardware to people and c customers all over the place had this equipment sitting idle, uh, not doing what it was supposed to do. All right.